Good afternoon, everyone. This is Rebecca Brown with the IT department. And I wanted to uh, talk today and give a small introduction into Libra. This is a new software that we are downloading um, on some of the computers here at Porter. And um, LibraOffice is extremely similar to Microsoft. There are a few elements that are a little different. Um, however, they, you know, it encompasses all of the functionality for the most part that uh, um, Word does as well as Excel, except it's a reference with a different name, including PowerPoint. So to get started, if your computer um, has been launched with Libra, it will be necessary to use the Porter Internet um, to jump into your email. So if I were to back out um, and jump in here, I would use the Internet located under Staying Connected and just click on here in order to put in um, all of my information to sign in to my account. So that's how you would access your Porter email. And in terms of getting to the Libra office, this will be on your desktop. It's a matter of double clicking on it. And within here, you're going to notice um, several options. You can open a file, which will take you to your documents um, or the U drive and your own um, H drive for your own file. You can certainly open those. That's not a problem. You can go to any recent files. You can also find different types of templates. So I want to take a moment and let you know the different types of items that are offered. So the writer document um, is the same functionality as Word. So basically, once we open that up, you will see that everything along the ribbon is extremely similar to Word. This is exactly the same on top here. Um, you just have a few different icons, um, you know, for print or for um, starting a new text document. Um, and from here, you can actually jump in and start a spreadsheet, a presentation, drawing. Um, so that's quick, easy access. You can also export directly uh, as a PDF. Um, of course, spell check, uh, find and replace. You can add um, any charts or text boxes. Um, you can add any bullets or numbering, um, change your indent or margins. So really, it's, it's similar. Um, also, up here is the font, which you can change if you want to use Arial Black. That's fine. You can change this as well. Just the same. Um, so I will just do a few lines in here. Um, testing this software. And let's say that now I wanted to add a table. So you can go in here and let's just make a small table here. So you'll notice, just like before, it goes ahead and, and it puts in your table. Down below, it creates a footer row or a footer ribbon. And from here, you can insert rows, you can insert columns, you can delete tables, columns, rows to sustain. You can even change the background color. Um, so instead of having this rib, uh, ribbon um, up here, it, it's just down here. So that's certainly available. So it's really not uh, too difficult to manipulate in comparison to Word. Um, if you want to save the file, uh, certainly can. It's not going to interfere in any way um, in terms of your old Word documents versus the Libra documents. Um, it, the document itself uh, should automatically save as a um, 
BOCX. Um, if you're not, you can always change that and go to um, over to a you know dot .bocx file if you would like, and you can save it as that. So I'll go ahead and save that. Okay. So that's you know that's the very basic coverage of the writer functions, which is similar to Word. So I'm going to back out of here. The um, Calc spreadsheet is comparable to Excel. It has a lot of the same functionality as well. The complex functions, not all of them are available, but you can continue to do um, basic um, functions such as pivot tables, et cetera. So you can create your, your Excel um, here, and it's just the same, it will, you can save it, um, and it's not going to affect in terms of your old documents. So if you were to open up um, an Excel that you had working on two weeks ago, and you opened it back up, it's not going to affect it. Um, you can continue to save it as the same. If we continue, Impress is comparable to PowerPoint. So you can create your layouts uh, over here, um, lines, arrows. You can do a slideshow, um, you know, transitions, formats. Uh, let's see here. It's kind of hard to see with this in your way here. <laughs> you can also do designs. Uh, you can put in symbols. You can drag this over and say, I wanted to put in um, the moon. You can create a moon in here. It's just a matter of click and drag. You just click, make it bigger, make it smaller, and you can all, you know, you can do this from your mouse by clicking on the left mouse button and just dragging and making it smaller. You can also right click and you can copy and paste it somewhere else or you can even cut it right out. So that's, you know, a basic introduction into the formality of um, uh, Libra Office in comparison to Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. You know, please feel free to go in and just, you know, click on buttons, try things out, um, try new backgrounds, um, and, you know, see what works for you. If you do have any questions, by all means, uh, you certainly give us a call or you can call me directly at 5632. I'd be more than happy to sit with you and, you know, review what it is you're looking to do and maybe even just give a reintroduction into the program. Uh, I appreciate you watching the video, um, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you very much.